my love there is something weighing heavily on my heart that i must confess to you my love when i first met you i was captivated by your kindness your warmth and your unwavering support you were everything i ever wanted in a partner and i couldn't believe my luck We shared so many beautiful moments together, moments that I thought would last forever. But somewhere along the way, I let my insecurities get the better of me. I started to doubt you, to question your loyalty and intentions. I remember the first time I felt that wing of suspicion. It was a small thing, something insignificant, but it planted a seed of doubt in my mind. Instead of talking to you about it, I let it fester. I started looking for signs, for any little things that would confirm my fears. And the more I looked, the more I convinced myself that you were hiding something from me. I became paranoid, constantly questioning your actions and motives. Every time you talked to someone else, I wondered if you were betraying me. Every time you were late or didn't answer my calls right away, I assumed the worst. I let my fears cloud my judgment. and i begin to see you not as the loving partner you were but as a potential threat to my happiness like this video and type the pulse one if you love your person my love i feel so sorry for you because i always misunderstood you and always doubted your loyalty The worst thing I did to you was in front of my friends. I called you a backstabber. But that wasn't the only thing. I have called you a disappointment, a selfish person. I need to tell you everything to bear my soul and seek your forgiveness. My friends noticed my behavior. and asked what was wrong I confided in them hoping they would reassure me but instead they fueled my suspicions they told me to be careful to watch out for you I let their words influence me and I started to distance myself from you I stopped trusting you and our relationship began to suffer. Then came the day that I can never forget, the day I hurt you the most. We were out with friends and they started talking about trust and loyalty in relationships. I don't know what came over me, but I blurted out that I thought you were a backstabber. I saw the shock and pain in your eyes, but I couldn't stop myself. I went on to call you a disappointment, a selfish person. The words came out like venom, and I watched as they cut deep into your heart. In that moment, I saw the light in your eyes dim. I saw the love and trust you had for me shatter. But even then I didn't stop. I was too caught up in my own insecurities to see the damage I was doing. It was until later when I was alone that the weight of my words hit me. I felt a deep sense of shame and guilt. 
I realized that I had let my fears and insecurity destroy the most beautiful thing in my life. Like this video and subscribe to heal yourself. My love, I wish I could take back every hurtful word I said to you. I wish I could erase the pain I caused and go back to the way things were. But I know I can't. All I can do now is confess my wrongs and hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. You never deserved the way I treated you. You were always there for me, always loyal and loving. I was too blind to say, too caught up in my own fears to appreciate the amazing person you are. I let my insecurities poison our relationship and I trust you in ways I can never fully make up for. I want you to know that I am deeply sorry for everything I did. I am sorry for doubting you, for questioning your loyalty and for letting my insecurities get the better of me. I am sorry for the hurtful words I said for calling you a backstabber and a disappointment. I'm sorry for letting my friends' opinions influence me and for pushing you away. My love, you are not a backstabber, you are not a disappointment, you are not a selfish person. You are a beautiful, loving, and loyal partner who deserves so much better than what I gave you. I see that now and it breaks my heart to know that I caused you so much pain. Like this video and type triple two to banish the negativity from your life. My love, I know that words alone cannot heal the wounds I inflicted. I knew that it will take time and effort to rebuild the trust and love we once had. But I am committed to making things right. I want to earn back your trust to show you that I can be the partner you deserve. I want to prove to you that I can change, that I can be better. Please. Give me a chance to make things right. I am willing to do whatever it takes to heal the rift between us. I want to be the person you can rely on, the person you can trust with your heart. I want to make up for the pain I caused and build a future together filled with love, trust and happiness. I know it won't be easy and I know I have a long way to go. But I am committed to this journey to proving to you that I can change. I want to be worthy of your love, to be the partner you need and deserve. My love, I am deeply sorry. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I hope we can start anew and that I can show you the love and respect you truly deserve. You mean everything to me and I am willing to do whatever it takes to make things right. Thank you for listening to my confession. Thank you for giving me the chance to express my regrets and my hopes for the future. I love you and I'm deeply sorry for everything. Please let me make it right. Like this video and type triple five to attract positivity from the universe. Healing prayer, repeat after me. 
Dear Heavenly Father, In this time of sorrow, my heart is frail. I seek your comfort, your love to prevail. Grant me healing, mend my broken heart. With your grace, give me a fresh start. Financial worries weigh heavy on my mind. Help me trust your provision, your plan so kind. Guide my steps, show me the way. Bless my window walls, bring abundance my way. In moments of doubt, let faith be my guide. Wrap in me in your love, stand by my side. Heal my spirit, restore my peace with your blessings. May my worries cease. Amen.